Baseball News Club remembering the first 30 days. Luis Robert, summer camp, home run, then falling down. Plus, he made a really good catch. This was things that come with him. Could be rookie of the year. And then, don't run on Chico. Let Chico hit. Summer camp. Clubhouse attendant doing it for the Dodgers. And then, when the season started the first week or two, I was like, okay, this is going to be a fun season. And then, once Aaron Judge started going on his home run consecutive game streak, I was definitely like, this is going to be a bitchin' season. And it has been a fabulous season. And then, who could forget about Fat Albert hitting his Grand Slam home run number 658 he is as of this posting one home run away from tying willie mays just an incredible shoe-in hall of famer albert pujols and then earlier this season remember the talk about who's going to hit 400 well charlie blackmoon was actually hitting uh 500 at one point i think as of this posting he's hitting around 405 so still has a chance to hit 400 and then remember the cubs triple play that horribly missed call by the third base umpire. Now the crazy thing with this is baseball rules stipulate if it's a trap ball in the infield, it's non-reviewable. If it's a trap ball in the outfield, it is reviewable. So, you know, Major League Baseball has to fix some things. They definitely need to review how to do this. And then who can forget Cole Calhoun's inside the park home run. Also Christian Yelich hit an inside the park home run. And then Ramon dealing with Houston Astros. The drama with Houston. He gets hit by a pitch. He's trying to tell the pitcher, hey, this is how you throw a slider. And then, you know, Houston, of course, starts a ruckus. The batting coach starts talking trash and wants to fight uh, Loriano, And he even gets out on the dugout. So I'm glad Major League Baseball suspended the coach. But who is he to get out on the field and try to fight players? Just a ridiculous move. But no one was hurt. Some feelings were hurt. Uh, but no punches thrown. Payback to Houston. And then who could forget? Chicago White Sox, four home runs in a row. Crush. Kadoosh. Bam. Chicago's for real. And then the big unwritten rules controversy. Grand Slam by Tatis. Then they throw behind Machado. And this is the start of the jinx on Texas. Way to go, Chris Woodward, for challenging unwritten rules. So next day, first inning, Grand Slam, Will Myers. Next day after that, walkout Grand Slam by Manny Machado. And then fourth game, Grand Slam by Eric Hosmer. Four games in a row, four Grand Slams. Texas jinxed and then finally the highlight of the year Joe Kelly thrown at the Houston Astros players Major League Baseball did not punish any of the players for cheating in the sign stealing scandal so it was left up to the players to essentially police Houston and there's a lot of fans and players still pissed off at Houston Astros they believe their title should be stripped but this is definitely the highlight of the year and created a lot of memes of Joe Kelly so hope you enjoyed this we didn't do all the highlights but Thanks for watching Baseball News Club.